found something. Buenos Aires International Airport this morning. Now watch this. Heralds. Trail ends at the airport, but turns out that a top Providence operative owns a vineyard in the area. Don Yates, of infamous New York law firm Morgan Yates & Cohn. And get this, it's hosting his retirement party today. She's infiltrated them. She's sending a message. She needs my help. Could have fooled me. You don't know her. Anyway, if you're going after her, you'll need to deal with the Herald. Her name's Tamara Vidal, former CIA asset and political firebrand. She's a master of surveillance and the Constance's most trusted aide. She'll have eyes everywhere. You won't get far as long as she's in the game. Why are you telling me this? I thought you were out. Yeah. Old habits, I guess. Anyway, I... I need to go. See you around, 47. No, you won't. Because you're not an idiot. Don't be long. Oh, pardon me. Que hubo, pues?
You got my message. You never get caught on camera. Not unless you want it to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next Constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my side for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you want it to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next Constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate but remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my side for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Around super loose here. If we fall, we're going to seem like such idiots. We won't fall. We just need to get the peak and we are good. And look at that gorgeous view. 
You know it will be worth it. Everyone's going to be beyond jealous. Oh, you're so right. The colors alone and the lighting. Oh, could you ask for better lighting in a million years? It's like golden hour times 20. I'm not going to lie, though. This gravel is making me really nervous. Uh, yeah, same. We just have to get the right framing, though, and snap it, and then I can liquefy our jawlines a bit so we're snatched, and then we can go. Right. Super quick. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one, and... For more than two decades, New York-based law firm Morgan, Yates & Cohn has been among the most successful and the most controversial companies in the United States. Founded in the greed is good downtown era of the mid-1980s by Kenneth Morgan, Don Yates, and Theodore Cohn, the firm quickly amassed an impressive client roster, counting such corporate behemoths as Top Investment Bank, Milton Fitzpatrick, and Van Orton Tobacco. A reputation for ruthlessness and dirty tactics, no doubt originating with the notorious affluenza defense of murderous socialite Chelsea Whitmore, has long stuck to their name. But despite the persistent outrage of progressives, the firm has enjoyed a seemingly never-ending streak of successes and legal triumphs. This, however, may be changing. Just a few months ago, senior partner Ken Morgan passed away unexpectedly at the Himapan Hotel in Bangkok. And now, another of the founding partners, Don Archibald Yates, in front of whose Argentinian vineyard I am currently standing, has announced his retirement from the firm. And so, the burning question in the upper echelons of corporate America is this. Has Morgan, Yates & Cohn finally run out of steam? I am Pam Kingsley, reporting live from Mendoza, Argentina, on GNN News. I'll get a picture later. to seeing you at the club last weekend. It was so disappointing when you didn't show up. And so unlike you. When was the last time you missed a Saturday? Ah, sorry. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, senor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, senor. Enjoy the party. So. Evening, senor. Would you care for an aperitif? Call him cojones for nothing. Have fun. I need to inform Edwards. Let him know something screwy is going on. Don't. I know how to deal with the likes of Don Yates. The one we need to worry about is Corvo Black. Yates Fixer. You know him? I see a regular. I always suspected he was a middleman for Morgan Yates and Cone. I never took his contracts. Nasty piece of work. Below my standards. But plenty of my colleagues were less picky. Well, they certainly got theirs. I wonder how your agent would feel if he saw you now. He wouldn't. 47 is a weapon, and weapons don't judge. They go where they're pointed. Oh, that's cold. I like you more already. I dare say congratulations are in order. Hmm, that's cool though. I was third in the line of defense. Let's head back to the party. 
Tell me you did it. Tell me you didn't forget the asado torch. Okay. Good to see you. Sir. I didn't forget the asado torch, Miguel. I did, though. Didn't you, Pablo? Why do you have not this message? The game What are we doing? Just a pub life. We're talking deep, deep. The whole place looked like a horror flick. Of course, the gates came down. It's all the sort of charge of the tanks. And you one. You'd think there was some kind of fancy mechanism on the early warning system in place. Yeah, you would, but you'd be wrong. If the pumps malfunction, the tanks overflow. That pretty much sums it up. So, pay attention to that pump flow. It's in the market for an extra aura. Lightning never strikes twice. These fermentation tanks are accident prone. If the pump malfunctions, the tanks overflow. This has happened before, provoking an appearance from Don Yates. It's likely to happen again. Don't hold your breath. Vidal is a true believer, fiercely loyal to the constant. Why he chose her to show Fern with the rope? Figured the rest of us wouldn't forgive and forget so easily. Sneaky bastard. The man didn't get it. Hey, hey. what did I do for you? A tour of the facility? At this hour? I didn't know we had investors come in. A private tour. The Yates, with all due respect, we are about to harvest the Malbec. I hardly think this is the best use of my time. Fine, if you say so. Who is the audience? Diana Farmwood and Tamara Vidal? The politician Tamara Vidal? Okay, and the last one? 
Corporal Black, is he your uh, victim? The pretty one? A private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo Black. Black is a threat, but also an opportunity. Yates's own machinations are inconsequential. Joining the tour will give access to Vidal, away from the crowd. Why does he want me to play two guys in his socialite friends? It's our best day. I he probably work. just wants to show off, Patron. I know I would. Mm. You must be Burnwood and Vidal. Excuse me, sir. And you Seems must like be Gates' starfish man. Sorry. Who's yours? Yeah, that's you? not gonna work, well, buddy. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, Mr. Vargas. Suppose someone ought to fetch him. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Yeah? Let me know how that works out for you. Well, this is fun. Diago's planning to go to Spain? <laughs> <laughs> so much for lucky number 43. Ah, screw you, hijo de puta.
about your boy Leandro throwing his knee out yesterday. They say the poor guy might be out for the whole season. Don't you push me, hey man. Te lo estoy diciendo. At ease, soldier. What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour. Remember? As if I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialite friends. It's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. You don't want to get on the bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided if the crop is right for picking. Bring me the three Malbec grapes to taste, Ramon. Yes, as in like how I prioritize, he can weigh me down with concrete and toss me off a bridge. How's that? Uh, three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. Now, what am I doing here? Oh, I Come on. I left it right here. Seriously, who takes another man's picking knife? It's going to be one of those days, isn't it? I am not the looking guy there. What she was. Enjoying the show.
I'd be surprised if they even noticed we were here. You should be present. Sí, perfecto.
Welcome to Vignetta Yates. I'm Gabriel Vargas, chief winemaker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but they're all above your pay grade. We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Follow me. Hey there. What's up, yo? First stop on the tour is the production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including a drag-in freezer unit. And last but not least, our grape crusher, industrial size for your disposal purposes. Interesting. Follow me. This is an industrial cold storage unit, useful for preventing cellular decomposition. It easily reaches temperatures of minus 10 degrees Celsius. Trust me, you don't want to stay inside for long. No kidding. Hey, there's no doorknob on the inside. Seems like a pretty glaring safety omission if you ask me. Probably soundproof too. And good luck getting a phone signal. Follow me, please. This is our grape crusher. The de-stemmed grapes are crushed into a thick pulp by a powerful rotating cylinder, making each grape quite impossible to ID. What? Fall into the vat and get crushed to a pulp? You'd have to be a bona fide idiot. Waste of space, person. Follow me. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium. In these spacious tanks, which could easily be able to contain a couple of hundred human bodies, the sugars in the wine are converted to alcohol. This is also where we squeeze the must into a fine juice using our grape presser. Fascinating. Come along. This is the facility's grape presser. Freshly crushed pulp is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. Much more efficient than the ancient practice of grape stomping, but also less personal. So, this is what the little guy feels like.
Our large fermentation tanks are constructed from solid French oak, and each well, contain up to 500 gallons of grape Looks like an accident waiting to happen. You okay, don't want to fall in, but if you do, at least you'll die. Final stop, the barrel room. Nothing dramatic, just wine biding its time. The vault next door contains our most precious bottles, but the access doors are made from ballistic glass and can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. So, unless you're the sparrow, don't get any ideas. Remarkable. Mr. Yates now. Perfect timing. Ah, hey there, Burnley, big boy. Is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little Herald get-together up at the house. Just a this toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine herald once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital, right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. 